Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you what to do if the MSI driver CD is not working on Windows 10. MSI or MicroStar International is a Taiwanese multinational information company that develops hardware and software ranging from laptops, PCs to basic products such as peripherals, software and drivers. This type of problem can be quite common with the MSI CD drivers as it is often triggered by outdated motherboard drivers, an outdated operating system or simply issues with the hard drive. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is cleaning the hard drive. To do that, just click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type device manager. Then click on device manager. In the following window, just click on view and choose devices by type and click view again and choose show hidden devices. Then device manager will populate the screen with all the devices that have ever been installed on your computer. Devices that are currently uninstalled will be grayed out. Expand each category under device manager and locate the grayed out devices, right click them and choose uninstall. You can repeat this until you have removed all the non-existing devices from your system. Then reboot the computer once all the devices are removed. After the reboot, you can remove the hard drive and install it onto new hardware. Removing ghost drivers can help you fix the issue that is preventing the MSI driver disk from installing drivers. Another useful solution is installing the drivers from the official website. To do that, just go to the MSI Download Center, which I will also post as a link in the description below, it usually consists of all the latest drivers for MSI hardware devices. Choose your type of laptop and motherboard model from the list and download the latest drivers available. If your PC does not have an Ethernet connection, just download the driver using a different computer and then move it to your PC. Then run the driver installer and follow on-screen instructions to complete the installation. And another great solution is installing pending Windows updates. You can do that by clicking the start button in the lower left corner and then writing settings. Then click the settings option. Now navigate to update and security section. There you have to click check for updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, they will be downloaded automatically in the background. Once you downloaded the updates, they will be installed as soon as you restart your PC. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.